fish scales. Oh, my old foe, only foliage and crocodile skin are worse than you. Do you know the legend of Darth Ictis the Crazy? A Dutch heteropod lord, he tried to draw the perfect skates, but insanity is all he got. But when you enter this path there is no going back, and ultimately you will succeed, or the entanglement will consume you. Hi guys, sorry for the long absence, lots had to be done, much is still to do, and I sense the need for another sketchbook. This video has its origin in a discussion on the Facebook page Paleo Artists, where some young fellows asked how to draw scales. They specifically mean dinosaur scales, but what is uh, that is something for another video. Um, for now I can tell you a little bit more about how to draw fish scales. I developed this technique during my first experiments with giant lungfish and the other large fish of the Bahiria formation, and it's still very useful. The scales I talk about here are mostly pretty big, and I use this technique mainly for the large beasts like mentioned above. These scales are round, relative flat, overlap each other, important is also that neighboring scales don't touch each other. For smaller scales or smaller fishes, some crisscrossing techniques are often good enough and I use my own little technique for gars with their rectangular scales. Here an example how this can look in the finished product. One important part in my way of drawing fish scales is that I follow the lateral line. The lateral line is a sensory system running alongside the flanks of many fishes. It is composed of many little pressure or electrical sense receptors which help the fish to find their way around and to detect prey or predators. The receptors are also often found on the face and not only in fish but also in some amphibians. The lateral line is covered with a row of scales and starts most of the time at the upper edge of the gill lobe, swings down in a gentle curve and ends at the base of the tail fin. After laying down some basic line work, in this case we just do a scalic tube, I draw in the lateral line and cover it with a row of scales. Be careful to make the scales not too far from each other. I use here a black color pencil, but in the beginning it is better to use a hard graphite pencil which is easy to erase. Trust me. After covering the lateral line, begin to add scales left and right to it, or let's say better, below and above. When you come near the back of the animal, start to squeeze the form of the scales. Prospective baby!
but keep in mind what form your fish should have in cross section. I should have done this in the first place. And here my camera decided to stop recording. Wait a minute, I have to do this fish all over again. <laughs> so, and now we are going to shade this puppy. Some simple shadows first. And now, at least in some cases, individual shadows on the scales. When your fish swims close to the ground, it's possible that the sunlight will reflect back on its belly so don't make these parts the darkest. And here we have it, a quick, simple and very dirty fish ready to roll. And when you give it a little bit more time and color, it can look more like this. Thank you for watching this little dive into my ways of drawing fish. I hope you liked it and um, see you in the next video.